so we are just uh, revising very very quickly about tcp versus udp you already know that tcp is transmission control protocol so on the basis of naming convention on the basis of naming convention if i differentiate it it is transmission control protocol and it is user datagram protocol the second point is on the basis of type of services so tcp is connection oriented protocol it means that simply three phases are there first one is connection establishment and then data transfer and then connection closing or connection termination right that is called as types of services connection oriented services where is udp simply you can say that it is connection less service because there is no overhead with the help of which we can do all this process of connection establishment and connection uh, uh, you can say that uh, trans data transfer and connection closing that is why udp is also called as connection less protocol because we don't have any overhead for doing this mechanism that is why udp preferred for doing broadcasting right point number 3 on the third parameter that is reliability factor obviously as tcp is connection oriented so if if it is connection oriented then there is direct connection between source device and receiver's device so if it is so it means that 100% reliability of data 100% guarantee of data that data will successfully send because after successfully sending the data acknowledgement will is received so reliability factor is there but due to connection less nature of udp there is no guarantee that data will be sent it successfully or not right this is the reliability factor of tcp versus udp the next factor is error checking mechanism so because we are having uh, some overheads and in tcp we, we we can do some mechanism like flow control and acknowledgement of data and we, by which we can uh, we can do error checking mechanism here but udp basically concerns on lesser amount of data short size of data due to which the udp does not focus on error control and flow control but basic mechanism of error checking is there with the help of checksum field in its header which is 16 bit field you already know it so with the help of this 16 bit checksum field they do they do error checking but it is uh, but here we don't have any error checking mechanism so it was the error checking mechanism parameter the next one is acknowledgement factor you already know that acknowledgement is there in tcp but no acknowledgement is present in udp in udp vote we don't have any kind of acknowledgement now if we talk about sequence so basically tcp is feature uh, sequencing of data is feature of tcp it means that whatever data is received by receiver will be in the order they they all will be in the order sequencing but no sequencing of data is there in the udp right next factor is speed you already know that tcp is comparatively lesser why because we need to do some things before sending the data and after sending the data that is connection establishment connection termination this things takes some time this things consume some time due to which it is comparatively lesser than udp udp is comparatively faster and simpler and more efficient than tcp because of no three phase protocols are there like udp does not do any connection establishment it does not do any connection closing due to which it is faster it 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 saves its time from doing this task right the next factor is retransmission so obviously retransmission of lost packet will be there in tcp because if after a particular timeout timer sender is not going to get the acknowledgement then it is going to retransmit the data again but there is no concept of acknowledgement due to which uh, udp is not going to retransmit the lost packet next is header length header length is 20 to 60 byte which is variable in length but udp's header length is fixed that is of 8 byte on the basis of weight if we talk this is heavy because of so much field in its header udp is light because of lesser number of uh, fields in its header next one is handshaking technique so in handshaking techniques for synchronization one synchronization bit one acknowledgement bit and then one synchronization and one acknowledgement belt will be there so tcp uses three way handshaking process whereas udp is connectionless and due to connectionless there is no handshaking technique next is broadcasting tcp does not support broadcasting but udp supports broadcasting right udp already supports it is very important point under udp udp supports broadcasting tcp doesn't support broadcasting now very very important protocol under tcp is hypertext transfer protocol hypertext transfer protocol secure file transfer protocol simple mail transfer protocol and telnet right tele network 
and udp used by domain name services dynamic host configuration protocol tftp snmp ip and voice over internet protocol these are protocols used under udp and these are protocols used under tcp if we talk about stream type tcp is connect tcp connection is byte stream and udp connection is message stream if we talk about overhead it is low overhead it is low but higher than udp and in udp the overhead of header is very low because of very lesser number of fields in the header but somewhat mechanism is not there in the udp like uh, this uh, three phase acknowledgement like synchronization acknowledgement synchronization these things are not there due to which it is very low but it is somewhat higher as comparative to the udp and if we talk about maximum and minimum header length minimum header length is 40 byte and due to 40 byte of data that is considered as a option here so if we are going to add this option field data it is going to be maximum header size that is 60 byte but in uh, udp the size of uh, header length is fixed and that is 8 byte so this is very quick revision be uh, between uh, this is quick revision between tcp and udp and i hope that things are very much clear to all of you